so much to talk about, uh, starting with what you are saying about all of these big stories. Skyde joins me now for a review of trends. Absolutely, Bukala, Skyde. big stories, really, and you've reeled out a lot of them. Nigerians are talking, uh, particularly about the interest rate hike. Well, we call it the interest rate, but no, we call it the monetary uh, policy, policy committee's decision uh, to hike the MPR, and that has gotten a lot of Nigerians talking, so I think that's a great place to start uh, this morning. For businesses and individuals, the government is trying to rein in inflation and someone would say that inflation is like uh, one of the tallest buildings in Nigeria so what the government is trying to do just by way of speaking is dig in some more ground so the that tall building uh, can keep going down but the challenge is what happens to those at the ground floor uh, but there's been a steady increase in interest rates in yeah. the past few months without you know uh, meeting at the beginning of the year yeah. has it helped to you know, bring down inflation. You know, those are the key questions that we should be asking. Absolutely. Yeah. So take a look at this one from Israel Amole on X. Said cost of borrowing 24.75%. No businessman uh, can survive under the circumstances, I basically guess. Basically, <laughs> says the matter will end up in court. And I imagine this is what. Uh, Israel is trying to say you, you borrow the money at a certain rate, perhaps a previous rate, or the one before that. The question is, you now have to pay back at this interest rate? He's saying that, well, it might be tough for businesses. Very, to very pay tough. Back. Uh, this one is from Benedict Ehenemba, and uh, he says the consumers will still feel the effect of these increments, reduce the dollar rate, and increase the interest rate. How do you help the small scale businesses to grow? because banks won't be giving out loans with the limits in their vaults. Uh, there are more questions, really. This one is from AI underscore Idrissi saying, I can't fathom how the increase in interest rate could be a way to control inflation. Well, economics, the fundamentals of economics will tell you that trying to mop up excess liquidity is expected to have an impact on inflation. But when you have different dimensions to inflation, uh, you just wonder how far this will go. Maybe you might tackle one angle of it, but the other angles will be tricky to handle. But let's, let's see how this all plays out, definitely. And this one is from Bobby Russell, who says, just call it 25%. One thing is super sure, there you have it, businessmen and women will keep borrowing and hope you know what that means. Price will simply keep going up. And marketer Henry has similar uh, idea about this. says, this will be counterproductive. Reducing the purchase and power of the people using this method will never work. He says that this monetary policy will not work, uh, I can tell. Well, again, as I say, a bit too early in the day uh, to say, and it's important for the CBN uh, to ensure that every step of the way Nigerians are carried along so they understand what was behind this decision. Yes, the CBN governor gave some insight into this decision to understand how the committee actually works. So it's a committee of people who get to vote whether to increase, to hold, or to cut it down. But the majority had the decision to increase it by 200 basis points. And the governor, in fact, acknowledged that you know what would address inflation would be ramping up food security. So, you, you know, a lot of concentration on the agriculture sector, not just in the coming days, but that has been over time. But where are the results in that regard? Mm -hmm. And that, uh, you know, brings to mind the infrastructure fund that was launched, yeah. uh, which promises to focus also on agriculture. Let's go to another talking point this morning. You're also talking about the accident uh, involving the woman who resolved to travel from Lagos to London and she posted it on her handle. We saw the videos uh, yesterday and these are some of your comments to that uh, story. This is sad. I pray Pelumi Nubi is fine. Our prayers and support for her uh, in anticipation of her safety. Indeed, we wish a quick recovery at this time. There you have it. That's the car uh, showing that ghastly accident. Uh, details are still sketchy, by the way, about where exactly the location uh, that the accident occurred. But we can see in some of the videos, uh, um, medical officials attending to uh, the young woman. Yeah. So she's on a mission from London uh, to Lagos by road. And she's gotten a lot of social media support. But she put up that video essentially asking Nigerians and people generally to pray uh, for her. So this is another one uh, from Selom Sara saying, after recovering, the journey continues. So that's like a motivation for Palumi Nubi. She must not give up. No retreat, no surrender. When you cry, you can see. Then you must buckle up 
after recovery, because I wish you speedy recovery, and I think this is uh, from the generality of Nigerians wishing for Luminovi a quick recovery in this one. And this next one is from Forever Green, who says, praying actually, God please preserve Kwelumi. She just recently updated of the trouble she went through crossing Liberia border. I wonder if that's after she put up that video about the accident. Mm. About I, I think this was before. Before. Uh, then the, the, the video came up. Didn't have a lot to say about it, truly, but it's good to see that uh, she's gotten some care and, of course, expect uh, to hear from Balumi. Uh, a lot more prayers and best wishes uh, for her. Uh, another one says that um, I commend... Uh, I commented on Kwelumi's IG that I was worried for her because knowing African roads and the rest and um, another prayer from N6 of Life saying I hope she pulls through okay. Amen to that. <laughs> um, to another subject this morning, bandit uh, and the payment of ransom is an, another uh, theme that is you know, generating reactions. And this first one is from Apostle Michael Olowokiri, who says, I just saw a video where a bandit was flaunting ransom in millions and displaying it on TikTok. Is this what Nigeria has been reduced to? For God's sake, how did we get here? Wow. So, you may have seen this image. A uh, couple of things uh, that need to be verified. The identity one, the location, and the rest. But you may have also seen this video. And it's gotten a lot of people talking, uh, particularly asking, I mean, the questions are your mind, essentially. But this is what a lot more Nigerians have to say about this. Kingsley Monday saying, can you just imagine uh, the effing tree? If this is really one of the bandits that has been kidnapping innocent Nigerians uh, for ransom. And as we said, a couple more things need to be verified about that video, the location, the individual, the source of that money, and the rest. So, but well, that's a video, just in case you were wondering. <sighs> That's quite daring. Uh, well, this next one is from Kinsley Monday. Is it Kinsley that's next or you've taken that already? Or, or from Aisholek. Right. That's the next one. That's the next Aisholek one. says, the audacity, God, that's an explanation, I believe, in a country where we, we have security agencies and a force. Th these people are living a free life, even enjoying more than someone who's doing legit work. Well, we hope that that is only temporary and the security agents will do uh, the needful to ensure that uh, all of these people are apprehended. That is the hope, really. Absolutely. Not just the return of the women and children who are kidnapped, but also, you know, a total destruction of all their enclaves and the arrest of the bandits and kidnappers. Indeed. And speaking of justice, uh, another story that trended and you've been talking about uh, is a court sentence and a Chinese man to death uh, for killing a girlfriend. Remember that story, uh, it trended. And there's been justice now served with court sentencing him to death. So those are some of the big trends uh, mm -hmm. for you. Some of them will form uh, the conversation, some of your comments on that one on the show this morning. So keep them coming in, hashtag CTV Morning Brief. You can do WhatsApp as well. We are here for you to ensure that we have a conversation on the show this morning. But we're starting off with that conversation, that very important uh, talking point about raising our consciousness, ensuring that we become uh, Nigerians, first of all, before we think of ourselves as people from different parts of the country, and the role of the NOA in actualizing this particular dream. So stay with us for this bit of the program. We'll be right back.